you've interacted with some people and you have this opinion about them due to the way they talk due to the way they move due to your perception about them you know when we talk about halo effect halo effect simply means when we tend to judge people based on our impression about them or our presumption about the characteristics those people hold for example, when you see somebody wearing a medicated glass, what comes to our mind sometimes is that this person is intelligent, this person is smart. But sometimes we might be wrong. Or you see somebody like that and say, can it be this person is a medical doctor? Or you try to attribute a particular quality to this person. Sometimes you might be wrong. So we're looking at an interesting topic today called the halo effect. Most times in a relationship, we meet the opposite sex, maybe looking at the way the person is dressed, the person is, say, is a lady, the person is beautiful, well-dressed and whatever. We tend to attribute a character to that person, that this person is very good, this person has good quality. And we tend to try giving those people those attributes just because of the way the person is dressed. Or you see a guy, well-dressed, low coat, suit and whatever. You just assume that this person must be nice. This person must be very good. This person must be very wealthy. This person must be an influential. You tend to attribute some character, some traits to this person just because of the way you see them. Or you see a young lady or a young guy talking through his nose and with an accent, let's say the American accent, you just assume ah, this person must have been to America. This person must have seen the world round and that is why the person is talking like that. Sometimes, you might not be right we have most of our brothers here in this part of the world they travel to countries like ghana they travel to countries like africa the congo they come back and they start talking through their nose trying to give an impression of who they are not or trying to tell you they've seen outside the four walls of this country you see sometimes you might be wrong in using that first impression to do what to judge people's character to generalize people attribute it is important you meet people before you judge them what does it mean don't judge people based on what you see you need to learn to interact with them i remember uh, somebody was sharing with us was saying that she got married to a devil she was trying to talk about the husband she met the husband in the church and the husband was showing all the right character was like but when they got married she discovered that according to her she got married to uh, the devil's younger brother you see that is why most times we make a lot of mistakes when we try to prejudge people before we meet them learn to interact with people learn to have a first-hand knowledge and also it's wrong for you to judge people based on what you hear about them don't be quick to judge and assess people based on what you hear about them because what you hear about people might be the wrong or right thing, might be spread by an enemy, might be shared by a friend or somebody that's indifferent. Or somebody that has a purpose, try to tell you about that person in his own, own context. The halo effect is very, very important. We don't make that mistake. Remember what I talked about the halo effect? Using just an impression to judge somebody and generalize everything about that person learn to meet people learn to interact with people don't use first impression always to judge but it is important you always give the right impression at the first instance when you meet people because you might not have the opportunity again for you to impress them that is why most times when you meet people you just form an opinion about them that is the hollow effect even when they make mistakes the first time give them an opportunity to express themselves Give them opportunity to remedy so the halo effect is not very very good in judging people's character we're going to stop here for now until we meet next time we're going to share other interesting topics remember to like comment and don't forget to share thank you